All right, all right, all right. What is going on, you guys? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the inner self guidance message is that you have for yourself at this current moment. Yes, indeed. We are trying to figure out if you can sit down and talk to yourself. If your inner self can sit down and talk to yourself, what message would you tell yourself right now? What do you need to hear? What does yourself want to say to yourself? So, um, as you know, if you guys have been watching the other videos I post, I have no idea what sign we're going to read for today. We're going to take the tarot dice. We're going to do a quick shuffle and we're going to shake it up, shake it up, shake it. And we're going to see what sign we about to take on the table today. So y'all just, you know, say a little kumbaya inside, focus your energy and pray that your sign go out. You ready? Let's go. All right. We shake it. And we shaking. And we is shaking. Lego. So what is this? This is Aries. I believe we already got Aries. Don't we already have an Aries reading out? Hmm. I don't think we do. No, yes we do. Yes we do. You guys were the last reading I did. Alright, so let's shake it up one more time. Is this cancer? Cancer, cancer, cancer. Tell me the answers, cancer. What is the T you got for me? All right, cancer, we going in, baby. Let's figure out what's going on with cancer. Let me write this down. All right, so we doing cancer today. All right, let's see what we're getting into, cancer. Let's get the answers, baby. All right. So before we get into today's reading, you know, I always, always, always give God praise and thanks and acknowledgement for anything that we do, any messages that we receive. So bow your head with me. Let's say a quick prayer. I'm going to try to make it brief. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. We're here to get the inner self-guided message that cancer would like to say to their self. We need to talk to ourselves and just, you know, make sure that we're able to receive our blessings and to maintain our blessings. And the only way that we can maintain it is to make sure that we're doing self-work. You know, so Father God, please give the sign of cancer, all of the guidance, all of the love, all of the building blocks that they need to receive in this season, Jesus. And amen. In Jesus name, amen, amen, and amen. All right. Come on now. Let's receive that. All right. Let's get into this. So cancer, let's find out what your inner guided messages that you have for yourself currently at this moment. Let's see. Cancer. Cancer, what's the answers, baby? What's the answers? Cancer, can you tell me the answers? Because you know you like to wall people out. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people know what you be feeling inside and stuff like that. So, uh, <laughs> you about to have a talk to your inner self real quick. <laughs> I'm about to tell you stop hiding. Okay. Provide some details. That's why I be saying cancer, tell me the answers. Because y'all be trying to wall people out. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about, cancer. Shit, it be certain shit going on with yourself. You ain't even trying, goddamn. You don't even want to face your own inner shit. <laughs> what is it telling you to clean your space? It's time to clean up some shit and declutter. Okay? Clear your space, Cancer. If you want room for new blessings, it's time for you to get rid of old shit. And I do know a lot of Cancers. Not, I want to say like extreme level hoarders, but y'all know how to release stuff. Y'all really do not. Y'all be holding on to shit. Them little pinchers, them little clampers, them little clamp, clamp, clamp. Y'all be holding on to shit for dear life. And a lot of the shit is dead, gone, and done, passed away. And some of I want to say some of the shit that don't necessarily even have good memories to it. So why are you holding on to the shit? Just to know that it was there or something like that. Like let that shit go. What's under the deck? You got indigo and crystal children. That ain't resonate with me though. Let's see whatever card we got pop out here. It says get rid of clutter. Cleanse the energy around you and use feng shui. Alright. I just heard something about you'll be able to breathe better. I, well, I, I feel like someone like right now they got like a lot of mucus and stuff up in their chest. It's like um... I feel like there's too much clutter and dust in someone's room 
or whatever area it is that they frequent in a long uh, a, a lot of times like if you always like if you got a man cave in the basement or something like that but there's a whole bunch of old boxes and a whole bunch of old catalogs and just a whole bunch of old shit just pushed off in the corner that's just been sitting there that literally has no personal use like you guys don't use it you guys don't think about it you guys don't sift through those boxes or nothing it's just sitting there declutter and get rid of that stuff is is somebody has a respiratory issues where they're constantly sneezing they're constantly coughing i feel like there's people that probably smoke cigarettes around you or you probably smoke cigarettes a lot but aside from that you got a lot of clutter and things in your house that is collecting dust and people don't think that dust mites is real i'm gonna tell you what if you don't think the dust mites is real y'all supposed to take y'all pillows out and fluff y'all pillows take your damn pillow out Weigh it on your head like this. See how heavy it is. And then take your pillow and beat it out. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. And then weigh it back on your damn hand and see how light that shit is. If you could get a microscope and see how many dust mites are probably on your bed and on your pillows. And these are things that you frequent every day. So if you are not taking an account of you guys having old boxes, a whole bunch of old paperwork, old shit that's just standing around creating dust and it's creating stagnated energy you cannot have new things into your life unless you release the old shit go you have more free air there's a lot less dysfunction going on so i feel like health wise that's why y'all be sick a lot because somebody needs to clean their house and i'm not saying that y'all are dirty it's like i feel like y'all got like a whole bunch of bills a whole bunch of old paperwork some just sitting up in a box or somewhere and you don't need it clean that shit out get rid of that shit that is what is causing the sneezing the allergies and stuff because dust mites and stuff that can create allergies so y'all need to clean that up and then you got prosperity. Come on now. I promise you. Watch as soon as you start. You declutter. You cleanse your space. And you let go of things that are no longer providing any level of virtue to you. Like it, it's not it's not part of your virtue. It's not helping you grow. It's not doing anything. It's just old memories of some shit from your past time. As soon as you release and declutter and let that shit go, watch the floodgates of blessings pour into you. You won't be getting more money. You won't have more free time. Well I feel like you overworking yourself and you get minimal success. Once you cleanse your space, you're gonna have more money and more free time. And more access to spend it. I know that you guys don't like spending a lot of your money. Y'all like to keep your money. But I'm just saying, like, you'll have more access to things. You'll be able to do more. You'll have more time to enjoy yourself instead of working so much where you are failing to realize that you barely have free time to even enjoy your money. So, let's continue going. We got the world card as soon as I split the deck. So, like, it's going to be some major permanent changes into your life. You could be dealing with a fixed sign that is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So, there's a chapter of your life that has ended permanently. I feel like you have, like, released, like, old wounds and old pressures, I'm hearing. Like, you no longer feel pressured. I just heard you no longer feel pressured and you're moving in a safe space. Like you're 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 free and clear now to kind of do what you want to do. So I feel like you might have released something that, like I said, it gives you. I just heard it gives you more expenditures. Why am I seeing somebody doing an expense report? But it's like you get to write something off. It's like more expenditures or something. So it's like you, you like it's like you're at a next level. I want to say in your business, in career. I want to say like you are doing the same thing, but on a different level. I want to say you got a lot of streetwise growth. In your past life so I don't know if it's someone 
moving forward and they learning how to do something correctly is learning how to do something legally or something like that because I just heard like I heard multiple beneficiary beneficiaries I don't even know if that's a, if that's the right way to say something like that I just heard multiple avenues of income and I just heard extreme fortune it's about managing and maintaining your blessings. So let's let's put it like this. Let's say back in the day, like let's say you was a street pharmacist or some shit like that. Let's say you were selling I don't fucking know. Like you would just sell it something on the streets because shit. Um I'm going I'm to go a holistic route, right? Not like drugs or like bad shit or anything like that. Let's say, because remember we were talking about people that have respiratory issues and stuff like that. They're like, um, let's say you came up with a formula, like a drink and an inhalant. You know, like how the Vicks Vapor Rub have those little inhalable little things that you stick up your nose and it smell like uh, eucalyptus leaf or something like that. So let's say, like, back in your day that you had these holistic treatments and stuff like that but you used to sell it at your house or you used to sell it at bus stations or you used to go to parks and schools and things and and you used to get your grind on the street you know what i'm saying you did not have very good money management skills it was like as the money was coming in it was just coming in and you were just spending it you really just didn't do checks and balances on okay my income how much i'm making versus how much i'm having to put back out to re uh, uh create the product how much i'm actually earning you know it wasn't no management you were just doing it it's like more of like a street salesman a street hustler and it's like you might have felt very accomplished because you were getting a lot of sales off and things but if you would have had more management you will be able to like see from month to month the metrics on, okay, well, this is a up season, you know, like during the summertime, this is a high peak season. A lot of people are buying, a lot of people are buying, but in the wintertime, things kind of slow down. So I might need to move this product because people like um, bathrobes, they like incense, they like lotions, you know, instead of pharmaceutical medicines or something you know what I'm saying so it's like um I want to say like you figured out like you're really connecting with your craft you're really connecting with your business like you are on the giving and receiving end so I want to say like in the beginning like you might have been giving out so many sample products just to get your name out there that you could have been making money with that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you got like a better formula. Like you're more fixated on the numbers and the progression. Like you understand how, okay, I started the business. This it was kind of all over the place where at the end of the year, I had no, I had no idea how much money I made. And it was driving me crazy just trying to file my taxes because i want to say like someone didn't know what they were doing i want to say now like you really have a deeper connection with your craft with your skill set it's not just about okay the fact that you got talent or the fact that you got people to work for you is can you manage it can you maintain it see that's what people always fuck up They'll get a blessing, but they don't know how to manage it and know how to maintain it and get it to the next phase. You're at the next phase now. Do you understand what I'm saying, Cancer? North, South, East, and West. You, on every side, on every angle, like, it's like you figured it out. Because each element has a different um, source available to it. You know what I'm saying? Like the lion, it brings the intensity, the drivenness, like the actual action. That Aquarius, that bird, it brings the more intellectual um, aspect. You feel me? The Scorpio is more emotional, but kind of gives you 
more of a de determination to stand up for yourself than to strike back. You feel what I'm saying? And the Taurus, the Taurus is more about longevity, growth, and permanence. You, you see what I'm saying? So you got to have the action. You got to have the logic. You have to have the emotional wealth and determination to stand up for yourself. But then at the same time, you got to be able to nurture, develop, and grow your craft. So it's like you really needed all elements because you might have had two but was lacking on one really bad while, while the third was on the come up. But you need all elements. You need everything to work together in order for you to peacefully see success in this avenue. I know I don't, I, like, I went forever about one fucking card, didn't I? One fucking card. Okay, y'all just gonna get one card for this deck because it's like, this is too much. <laughs> it's just too much. And I did see temperance at the bottom, so I definitely believe that you're letting your faith lead you. Like, you are, uh, I'm gonna take it. It's like you're letting your faith lead you. But you're very grounded in your success. You're very grounded. And these are two major arcana cards. So cancer, like things are closing up well. Like the end of this phase, the end of this season. Like when you look back at 2023 and you see the progression of your life, you're going to be very pleased. Going to be very pleased. Um, I feel like your hopes and dreams are coming true. And I just heard it's like you ready to get going. Like you ready for this to kind of take off and you ready for your start to hit soon. I, I, well, I feel like it hasn't hit just yet. I just heard you still filling yourself up on faith. You still getting the foundation of your belief system together. It's like, okay, what do I want? What do I feel is sense of value at this time it's like you're i feel like you're filling yourself up right now so when you actually hit the ground you're gonna hit the ground running you feel what i'm saying because it's like you can't be in the same place at this at the same time you can't be up in the sky up in the air up in the spiritual element and be on this earth grounded no no because sometimes you got to know what's going on in the ground in order to filter that up <laughs> and say God help me because it's some bullshit down here you know what I'm saying you gotta go you, you gotta know what's going on with one to bring it to the other so this time like cancer you are so fulfilled spiritually it is your, your spiritual beliefs is leading you on the ground and you're grounded like shit you see her wings her wings is what orange that's that sacral chakra that's all about your feelings, your emotional needs, setting boundaries, trust, warmth, intimacy, being active. It also means attachments and letting go, addictions, pleasures, joy, beginning and endings. And what were we talking about earlier? You guys having a problem with clamping things in y'all pictures and not letting shit go, so... I, 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 with this temperance card, you get that it's finally time for a release. That's why you're going up to the spiritual realm and you're getting that overflow. You're getting that overflow right now. Because you don't need none of that shit no more. You don't need none of that shit. You've like thoroughly decided. Well, and I really do feel like that you guys are going to um, possibly meet a partner and have a very deep long and fulfilling connection with somebody do you see this and then this is the before tarot so this is the before tarot so this may be something that you need to know before you get into it i feel like your next connection is going to be permanent it, it may that might be the next phase and chapter of your life is marriage and like permanent financial security and growth and longevity in your business. You are very grounded right now. You know what you want. You know how to keep what you want. And you just relying on your faith. And positive energy like. Mm -mm. Prosperity, uh, prosperity says your material needs. Are provided. As you follow your intuition. And manifest your dreams into reality. Listen I, I, I was already saying that before. I even read the card. 
Hmm. You got everything you need. It's like as soon as you make the decision to let some old shit go, let go and let God handle it. Like you look, it's a finality to whatever that chapter was. That shit is that shit is done. Whatever it was, it's it's, it's literally going to be part of your pastime now, as you're getting a refill and walking out on faith and stepping into your new position in life. Come on, Jesus, y'all better stop fucking playing with cancer today. Y'all better stop it. All right, and cancer, I forgive if I'm a little long winded, but I really do think that everything that I said, like y'all needed to hear that. I really do. All right, so give me day to day guidance. What's some daily guidance that Cancer can use right now? Okay, right off the bat. It says, notice the signs. Notice the signs, Cancer. And then at the bottom of the deck, you got a change in direction. I just heard you might be going forward again, even though you don't want to. You got to go forward in this situation even if you don't want to. And they're saying you got to do it. You must go forward. That's what they keep saying. Even though you're reluctant to do it, you must go forward. And, it's, and then they just said you got to get it out of you. What the fuck are they talking to me about right now, Cancer? Get what out of you? You must go forward with something. It says, notice the signs and change in direction. And I'm going to repeat, they say that you must go forward. That you must go forward. Not nobody else. You have to take some plan of action. It's like to get it out of your system. It's like you got you to gotta do it to release something. To get it out of you. Once and for all, once and for good, you know. I don't necessarily know if it's a good thing or bad thing, but it's like once you get something out, pay attention to the sign. And once you get something thoroughly out of your system, you'll understand the change of direction. You'll understand why things are being told to you in this way. And they just said, like you finally making something your reality. And they're saying it's like you hold you, you hold back for a long time. It's time to finally get this shit out of your system. And now that why is they talking to me so much? It says they just told me no one told you to go in the direction that you're going. They said no one told you to go in the direction that you're going. Fix your attitude and make the correct decision. That's the only way you're going to get it out of your system. Otherwise, it's going to keep bothering you. You're going to keep thinking about it. You're going to keep... I, I heard it was like... It's plaguing you to do it the right way. To do something the right way. Yo, just the spirit is just talking to me like crazy. It says, notice the signs. Yes, the sign has... Excuse me. It says, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. So, you have been getting little spiritual hunches and inclinations. That's urging you to do what you need to do. I want to say something that you've been sitting on, you've been holding on inside. And you know how cancers, they'll keep their poker face on. Like, you really don't never know what the fuck is going on inside of a cancer, for real, for real. Until they just have, like, that big emotional outburst. <laughs> and you're just like, what the fuck? Oh my god, 
god oh my god and why am i seeing kent just like no because i tried and you did this to me and i was there and da -da -da -da. and then like the person on the receiving end is like i didn't even know that you fucking felt this way like when the fuck was you gonna say that i thought i showed you um no you didn't <laughs> like maybe you it was in your head you thought that you had told me like you never told me this like so it's something it's something it says change in direction the changes you that you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love at our guidance you're protected now and in the future so follow your path to happy outcomes that you desire so it's, yeah, God is going to give you signs. God is going to give you directions. You're going to have the right navigational points for you to get that outcome and the desire that you've been wanting to receive. I just heard like, just don't sit and wait on it. It's like the action is now. I feel like don't even worry about I gotta pick it back up again. It's like, don't even worry how you're going to get to this point. The most important thing is for you to make the first step and do something about it. Because no one will really know what you want, how you feel, or how to address the situation if you're just sitting on your ideas, thoughts, wants, and intentions. Like, don't nobody know. Like, it's something about someone truly does not know. So it's like, I, it's, it's like you wanting a desirable outcome, but you're not feeding what it is that you truly want into the situation. You know what I'm saying? You just hoping that heaven and God hears you, but it's like you're, you're, you're not doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to speak up for what you want. You have to let your intentions be known, especially if God is showing you the signs like to do it now. Do it now. I mean, I can't even remember what I was saying to y'all in the beginning. I'm going to have to go back and watch this because my mind is like you you said it in the beginning like you said it, but I can't remember what the fuck I said. Like, oh my god, whatever. Let me just keep on going. So, Father God, what is this? What is the signs? What is this change in direction? What is Cancer trying to tell itself now? What is what is the last final message that Cancer needs to tell itself right now? Because yeah, what's the last and final message? The Seven of Cups in the reverse. So. It's like you know what you want. Like ultimately. It's like you guys are so grown. Like you guys have made several mistakes in your past. Like you know that everything that glitters ain't gold. That's I just heard the prince and the pauper. I just heard the prince and the pauper. I just heard. I just want that humble safe feeling. And, and it's like, I just heard, I want somebody that don't, or I want to be, I want somebody, or I want to be around somebody that don't think that they're all of that. Uh, it's something about, they just said something about the, the cup half full versus the cup half empty mentality type of thing like that. Like, I want to say in the beginning, Cancer probably went out there looking for that full cup, looking for the full cup, looking for the full cup. But maybe wasn't more concerned what was in the full cup versus just having a full cup. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, in the reverse, it's like, nah, you got to tell me what the fuck is in that cup. Because I'd rather have... A half empty cup of some shit that I want to receive versus a full cup of some fucking sewage. You see what I'm saying? So it's like cancer knows better now. Cancer knows better 
now. I just heard Cancer has ran across a whole bunch of well-dressed pigs. Like, you know, like you could put some lipstick on a pig, but motherfucker is still some fucking swine. And a, and a pig will eat anything, won't it? A pig will eat their own flesh and blood. They eat their own offspring. If they really get hungry. Or oh, shit, if a pig just have a fucking attitude. <laughs> like, for real. So, it's something about cancer having a different attitude and a different perception of what quality is. I don't even think cancer wants the quantity because at first it was about the quantity. It's about make something that made you look good. It's about, to, you know what I'm saying? Not about what made you feel good. I just heard society wants because in the upright, it's like maybe doing what society want you to do or thinks you should do or what a perfect reality looks like to you based off of societal wants and needs but it's like once you actually got those cups you realize i don't want this shit like is is this what they're saying is relationship goals is this is what they're saying like the entrepreneurial dream is or whatever it's like i might want it but i don't want it like that I don't, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like the way that they depict things on TV or the way that other friends, family, and colleagues depict on how they received something and how they got it and how they maintained it. It's like, it's fraud. It's like people putting on for the atmosphere. It's not reality based. Because it's something about everything that good is ain't gold, but it's like motherfuckers don't tell you that shit. And until you have that seven of cups moment where you are not glamorized by every single option that hits the table. Because I know all that shit ain't for me. I'm just looking for the one cup that's for me, bitch. I like me a little apple juice in the morning with some cheese, eggs, and grits. I don't even like no pork. I don't even like swine. Okay? Just like um, um, uh, Ice Cube said on um, Today's a Good Day, Mama woke up cooking breakfast with no hog. Okay? I got my grub on, but didn't pig out, all right? <laughs> like, no bullshit. I don't even want the swine. I don't even want the fat back. I don't even want the health problems down the line. I'm trying to keep my shit blessed and healthy. I know everybody eat eggs and bacon, but baby, that ain't, that, that ain't, that ain't. That's not conducive to my diet. So it's like you guys know what you want. Mama cooking breakfast with no hog. Mama cooking breakfast with no hog. Wasn't I saying something about like health in the beginning? Now, now I'm getting like cholesterol levels and stuff. Before I was saying something about respiratory issues, now I'm feeling like clogged arteries and stuff like that. I heard it's like someone needs a fat burner or a waste releaser. Before you go to bed, you should probably drink like a, um, a is it a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with the mother and eight ounces of water. So that way while you're sleeping, your body is resting, like the apple cider vinegar could go through and cleanse everything up. And then, you know, they got apple cider vinegar, little gummy bears and shit, but get the actual bottle of apple cider vinegar where you can see all of the shit at the bottom, the mother on it. Get that. Get that. Get that. Why do you keep saying a fat burner? Okay, so I heard something about someone not wanting to go outside over the summertime because 
it was like all this unnecessary fat and weight got into you. It's like your diet and what you've been eating and things like that. I want to say it's not good for you. And as your body is shifting and changing, your metabolism is because you guys got to understand as you get older, your body changes. So if there was someone that picked up a lot of weight gain and everything like that. And it could have to do with someone's drinking as well. Because you know too much drinking can make you pick up weight. It's like someone may need to put down a cup. Someone may need to put down a... It's like some type of... Um, I don't know why I'm getting like some type of toxic addiction. It's like kind of jumping around a little bit. Because now that I'm looking at it, it's like... I can see it. I can look straight into the mirror. Apple has to do with addictions. Uh, horseshoe. You know that has to do with luck. But then as well, it's like the the shoe casing for the hoof. You know what I'm saying? It's like protection, so that you can move accordingly. Okay. Uh. Uh. I gotta break this down. Okay. Follow me, and I'm sorry to make y'all video so long. But with this being in the reverse, you can finally see yourself. You finally see yourself. You see the negative, toxic addictions that you need to release, things that you've been holding on to. Because you know when they be trying to do a lot of like low vibrational spells, like come to me spells and all of that shit, and they use apples. The forbidden fruit. So it's something that you see now is forbidden in your life that is not welcome in your life that is getting in the way of you painting the perfect picture that you are ultimately trying to receive i believe that you know it's just like a muse or something like that so i want to say it's like you guys are hanging around and associating yourself with people that are more talent based it's people that inspire you so it's like Maybe letting go of old patterns and releasing the frequency of you doing things that you used to do, hanging around with people that as it is, I said, serve less of importance to the world. They're not creating shit. They ain't doing shit. And honestly, the more you hang around the riffraff and trash, you looking at yourself like that shit don't make me look like shit me because I'm hanging around with forbidden fruits. Instead of being around more creative people, more people that have more passion, more people that have a concept of what life is or the concept of the life that they're trying to create around them. You get me? What else do I got here? You got the ring. You could have been entering into a whole bunch of false connections. A bunch of false connections. What is that right there? I see the scissors. So again, uh, uh, there was something about a false perception of reality. It was like people were doing things, trying to paint a perfect picture out of something, like making it seem like it was cool. And it could have been like lack of commitment. It could have been just like giving in to temptation or trying to create things that was not meant for substantial living it wasn't meant to last for a lifetime i'm here for a fun time not a long time type of thing like that it's something about you guys cutting that type of behavior out and making sure that you got more sturdy steps as you move forward like protecting your hoops protecting your footing oh i just heard sunbeam in a ray of light it's like you're shining now because it's like you're paying more attention of your surroundings and how it makes you like honestly your surroundings do make you who you are because you become more like them you do pick up character characteristics and traits of the things that you surround yourself with so it's something about this seven of cup card it's like it's not about the quantity is about the quality i don't want a full cup full of bullshit 
I don't want a cup that's overflowing, full of toxic toxicity and bullshit. I'd rather have a half empty cup of my goddamn apple juice that I like to eat in the morning with my goddamn eggs and grits because mama cooking breakfast with no hoe. I don't want to keep consuming something that's going to have me bloated, gassy, and going to give me a heart attack in a couple of fucking years just because that's what everybody else is doing. It's something about cancer like being well aware of what's best for them at this moment. And then you got the star. And then you got the five of wands. So it's like, okay. So to wrap this up, I feel like you're falling off the horse. Like you're, I feel like you're not participating this time. You're in that star energy. You, you have a lot of major arcanas. Let's just point that out, number one. So it's like your prayers have been answered. Like you could be wishing and praying for something. You could have been asking God for something for a long time. And it's like you're finally receiving it. You're finally receiving it. And I feel like you're being highlighted right now. Maybe you feel famous or something. It's like out of all of these people, out of all of these situations, it was like I'm the chosen one. It's like I finally get to shine. I mean, mainly because it's like you know what you want now. And there's no confusion about it. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of people that's trying to beat you to this place. But as you can see, they're going to fall off of their own horse. I just heard they're going to fall off of their own horse due to rejection. I just heard someone's not putting up an argument or a fight this time. It's like... Her stars don't argue with folks. Like, I'm about to take the Beyonce energy and the Beyonce approach. It's like, when you know your worth, like, what the fuck do I look like sitting out there arguing and competing with motherfuckers I don't compare with? What? Like, I'm gonna shine relentlessly. Like, bitch, it's, it's good. You, regardless if you like it or not, every fucking night, bitch, I'm out here. I am out here. I am like, you cannot stop me. You cannot. What, you gonna reach up in the sky and try to take me down? Bitch, you can't. You cannot. You can't. It's permanent, bitch. I am in here. I am here. It's like something about, like, it's like your faith gave you a, a life sentence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, Y'all want a competition where you're going to have to compete with the star, bitch. And you going to fail. you going to fall. I, I feel like a whole bunch of people. you about to see a whole bunch of people that thought that they could compete with you. Fall off the motherfucking horse. Look at you up on the fucking horse, bitch. Look at you. Bitch, I'm going to. Y'all got me. <laughs> I'm sorry for these two cars to come out right next to each other. Y'all stop fucking playing with God. Listen, cancer, when God got a message for you, God got a message for you. Do you see all these people that thought that they can fucking compete with you fall off of their high horse? Look at your horse. Look at you and look at them. You are regular. <laughs> you are basic. <laughs> okay? You are the mundane. <laughs> You were the same today as you were yesterday. Baby, I am shining. Okay? I'm glitzing and glowing. Okay? You'd have thought I rolled, uh, I rolled around in a, in, in a bath of mica powder, bitch. Okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Bitch, this is gold and glitter from the fucking earth. This is from the ground up, baby. Remember I told you I was grounded? Y'all went up spiritually and you got overfilled and you came back grounded, baby. Look, y'all better stop motherfucking playing with cancer to goddamn day. Please stop playing with cancer today. So listen, y'all going to see, y'all going to see a lot of people. And it's going to be some people that's going to try to challenge you too. But they're going to fall off of their high horse. They're going to do it. And God gonna sit there and let you watch them do it and make a fucking fool out of themselves. Because ain't nobody told you to come over here and try to compete with cancer anyway. 
okay? Once cancer figured out who they are and what they want, nobody is a fucking match for you. Nobody. Nothing and nobody. All right? But eep, but eep, that's all, folks. Let me wrap this up because I definitely ran my mouth off with y'all and I gave y'all enough blood. I'm sorry if I made the video too long, but listen, if God got a message, he got a message and I will never stop him when he talking. Okay? I am reloaded. Listen, cancer. This video resonated. Y'all make sure that y'all hit that like button. Like I said, it's a lot of permanent blessings coming into your life, baby. Be the star that you are, baby. All right. I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. I'm about to do your love reading. So make sure that you know y'all click that like button here. And when that love portion drops, y'all going over there and show that some love too. Let's see what's going on up in your love. Like I feel like it's something spicy. You know, you can see you think you know what you're doing now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see that you really know what you're doing. All right, cancer. I will see you in a second. Peace.